are some people, they'll, they'll believe you. They'll believe what you're saying, but they say you're still not going to get no refund. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they'll believe what you're saying. They say, now, I'm, I'm not saying you didn't purchase it from here. I'm, I'm not saying that you were not the one that bought this item. I, I, I'm not saying that you did not go through my register line. The thing that I am saying, though, is the only way that you can get a refund or an exchange on what you have, that must be. That's got to be. Simply cannot do it without your receipt. Talk about receipts, you're not just talking about a translucent piece of paper. When you're talking about receipts, you're not just talking about a piece of paper that itemizes your expenditures. You're not just talking about a piece of paper that enumerates what you have just purposed. When you talk about a receipt, you're not just talking about something that came out of the register. When you talk about a receipt, what you are really talking about, when you talk about receipt, you're talking about proof, evidence, and confirmation. But you can point to several incidents in the word of God that validate this. Was it not Abraham in Genesis, the 15th chapter, in the 8th verse? Was it not Abraham that asked the Lord when the Lord promised him that his inheritance was going to inherit the promised land? But Abraham says to God in 15 and 8, he said, Lord, whereby shall I know that these things that I will inherit? Right. In other words, God, you are God. You are God, and I believe what you're saying, but God, because of my current situation, I need some receipts. Yeah. In other words, God, I need you to provide to me the proof that these things are going to come to pass. That's where we are, church, right now. We're up to our scriptorial text. You see, Jesus had already told his disciples. He said, listen, they may destroy this temple. He said, but in three days, I'm going to raise it up again. Yes. Jesus had already preached to his disciples, letting them know that I must needs go to Jerusalem. He said, I must needs go to Jerusalem and give my life as a ransom. He said, but don't worry about me because on the third day, resurrection morning, he says, I'm going to rise again. Wow. Because see, when you really believe something, you don't mind putting your foot on it. Yes. When you really believe what someone has said, you don't mind stepping into it. Yes. When you really believe what somebody has proclaimed in you, you don't mind following the direction that they're telling you to go. Yes. But sweethearts, we're living in a day and time now where folk are just like Missouri. Yes. Missouri is the show me state. Yes. And folk wants you to show them something. I'm tell you this morning that you're like. Yes. Your life is the proof, the receipts, and the evidence that God did what he said. Yes. 